The school day in this rural area of Vietnam begins with the national anthem. It's still only 7.30 a.m. when the first class gets underway. There are 45 students in this class, but the lesson goes without a hitch. A quarter of Vietnam's 100 million people are children. Well-trained teachers are given what they need to cope with large class sizes. We're trained to teach classes of 45 students. Whenever the children misbehave, I give them a look, and they know that they need to stay focused, or else. Crucially, teachers are evaluated based on their students' performance. Those whose students succeed are rewarded with a prestigious award for excellence. Le Ngoc Beach has won 11 of the awards in her 27 years as a teacher. I can't reveal my secret, but I can say the main ingredient is my love for teaching and the students. In this communist country, the emphasis is on results, not necessarily equality. The students at this school study eight hours a day, Monday to Friday, and for four hours on Saturday mornings. Literature is difficult because it requires a deep knowledge to appreciate and understand the author's words. I pay close attention to every subject. This means I have a good chance of going to university and getting a good job. This school is located in the remote countryside, yet it's equipped with the latest education technology. And it's not alone. The Vietnamese government requires all municipalities to invest a fifth of their budget in education. This year, we bought 12 TVs and lots of tables and chairs and other materials as well. We spent almost 10,000 euros in total. The government's focus on education is also on display in ordinary households, an expression of the Confucian stress on work and family. Classes end at 5.30 p.m., and Anne heads home, where she'll study for another three hours. It's been a long day for this 12-year-old middle school student. She wakes up at 5.30 every morning and goes to bed at 11 p.m. I think having good results at school is important. I work hard. In the future, I want to become a doctor to save lives. Anne is working hard to realize her dream. Her family runs a hat-making business and they're desperate for her to do well at school. As for us, we only have this traditional work. So I want my little girl to study, get the job she wants, and to be well paid. Preschools also play their part in Vietnam's success. At this private nursery, four- and five-year-olds are already studying English. This morning, they're using songs to remember the colours. I want to learn English because it's fun. This English teacher has been here for six years. If you teach them English when they are very young, it is easier for them to learn because at a very young age, their brain is very active and they can learn a lot. The approach works. Vietnamese students are among the best in the world, outperforming their counterparts in Britain and Canada in international evaluations. They include Jia, who has been playing the piano since the age of five and has won school prizes. Now aged 13, she speaks fluent English. I want to take some silver, bronze or gold medals for my family because I think my parents will be happy when I have a prize. This summer, she won a prize in English and mathematics at a competition in the Philippines. It was the first time she'd competed against students from other countries in Asia, and she made her mother proud. She was crying when she knew I had gold medals. 
But the future is uncertain, even for talented students like Zha. The rate of youth unemployment in Vietnam is 7.5%. But for now, she's happy to be part of a new generation of Vietnamese who are shining on the international education stage.